Hi everybody, happy Sunday. I, I'm going to show you my new um, Pathophone uh, Model 6. It is a beautiful player and uh, I got it from one of the best sellers I've ever dealt with on eBay. This guy sells only uh, phonographs and he packed this thing like Fort Knox. <laughs> Just amazing. And this was his own machine uh, for a while and uh, has a new sapphire stylus uh, the thing is beautiful just really really pretty um, I have a huge stack of uh, Pathé records that uh, Raymond gave me I can listen to them properly now um, I also have this awesome Rex which is one of my favorites from Charlie that I'm going to play for you on it um, now uh, the name the plate with the serial number and everything is over here in this in the far corner I can't see it's too dark but it's, it was three three four six I think was the serial number um, I just stuck this this box of needles here because the uh, tone arm actually has no uh, no place to rest no resting point you'd have to lay it on the uh, either here or on the wood and I don't want to mess up the uh, sapphire tips so I'll put that there to just kind of support it while uh, while it's resting. So I am going to crank this up and get this playing for you. It is just amazing. I love it. And uh, I'm telling you, the seller is great. He uh, sells a lot of um, uh, what do you call? Edison cylinder players, and, and he has got an Amberol, a really pretty Amberol up right now. So if any of you are interested in, in uh, those, any either of those machines, or you've really been looking for an Amberol, uh, let, uh, hit me up and I will uh, give you his seller name, okay? It winds so smooth. Oh, plays so quiet. Uh, he told me this is dated from 19... He's not sure. He was told 1913 to 1916. And there's so little information on uh, online about these players. This one in particular. I can't, I can't pinpoint a date. So when he bought it, he was told 1913 to 1916. So, okay, here we go, guys. Enjoy.
Now, I picked that one because it is um, uh, very, very, very circus-like, and um, I just love it. Now, the, the Rex, this record plays a lot quieter than uh, the Pathé records, but it still requires a diamond, uh, um, what do you call it, sapphire stylus, so, uh, and I found that these, uh, the Pathés do not crank out the, the loudness like a Victrola does, but, um, uh, nonetheless, it is extremely fun, and uh, it's a beautiful player, and I'm happy to be able to play those Pathés the proper way, um, so anyway, I just wanted to share this, and, uh, let you know what I was waiting for on Friday. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. I will talk to you all later. Have a magical, mystical, musical Sunday night.